stuff. So um, I'm back with another tutorial this week. Uh, Reem requested like a wearable smoky eye and I was going to do it as one of those voiceover videos but I figured that if, since it's like an Arab inspired eye it lends itself quite well to a multilingual tutorial so that's what we're going to do today. Um, yeah I'm just going to get started. I sort of did some googling because I did a little while back a like wearable Arab eye inspired by Nancy Ajram, so I'll link that video down below. It's a little bit older, so I was a little bit rustier at the whole being in front of the camera thing, so you can see how far we've come. But I will link that down below. So with today's eye, I sort of want to do something a little bit more colorful. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna get started. It's gonna be long enough alternating between three languages, so let's just get into it. Um, I'm starting with my uh, MAC Paint Pot in Taylor Gray and using that as a primer on my eyelids. Um, we'll be off to the races. Uh, donc, <laughs> en français, uh, je commence avec le Paint Pot de chez MAC en Taylor Gray sur toute la paupière mobile pour aider la couleur des fards juste à être intensifiée et puis à rester toute la journée. وبالعربي راح ناخذ البينت بوت من عند ماك بلون تايلر جراي نحطه على الجفنه المتحركه <تصفيق> حتى اللون يبقى طول النهار ويطلع اللون هيك مفرقع اكثر اوكي سو اي ام فيلمينغ ليتر ان ذا داي سو ماي لايتنج از ا ليتل بيت اوف بس وي ار جوينغ تو work through it. Um, I'm going to take then Trax, which is an eyeshadow by MAC, which is what I think of like as a quintessential sort of Thousand and One Nights, Jasmine, I, I love this color. So I'm taking that on my 217, what else, and then all over the eyelid. Um, I'm going to pat it and then blend. Donc, avec un 217 de chez MAC, La journée où j'arrête d'utiliser le 217 de chez MAC, il y a quelque chose qui ne va pas. <rire> Donc je prends le fard Trax de chez MAC, qui est ma couleur préférée pour faire un look euh, arabe, jasmine, euh, euh, charazade, je crois qu'on l'appelle comme ça, de midi et nuit. Euh, et je l'estompe sur la paupière mobile. بالعربي مع ال 217 من عند ماك وال واللون تراكس من عند ماك رح ناخده ونحطه على كل العين وهذا افضل لون عندي لما بعمل مكياج عربي على على الف ليله وليله على جازمين على شو بعرفني بلاقي كثير كثير حلو Okay, and so to not make this super smoky um, and like Arab, Arab inspired and just like more wearable version, I'm going to take whatever's left on my brush and run underneath my eye. Um, usually with an Arab inspired look, you go really dark under the eye, but if we want this to be sort of a wearable day look, we're just going to do this way. And you can sort of bring it up, but make sure you're going sort of high so you keep that line nice and high uh, and not droopy, just to sort of open and uh, elongate the eye. Donc, uh, pour que uh, ce look soit et le pinceau dans l'œil <laughs> soit uh, un qu'on peut porter pendant la journée, on va utiliser ce qui reste sur ce pinceau et le passer sous l'œil um, avec les, les looks arabes, uh, smoky. Des fois, on met une, une couleur plus sombre sous l'œil, mais uh, pour ce look que je crée aujourd'hui, je veux le laisser assez clair et, et, et pour la journée. Donc, c'est Ce qu'on va faire, on prend ce qui reste sur le pinceau uh, qui, est, qui, a, qui avait le tracks sur le pinceau qu'on a utilisé pour mettre tracks sur l'œil. On met ce qui reste sous l'œil. Au bel arabe, il est bas. À la fin, je vais passer avec ma dernière tête la haine. Hâte à que n'importe quelle haine te chalie la la maquillage qui compte un look arabe, mais pas beaucoup de chercher à se faire azabit quoi. Taï, mais je le fais. Je vais le faire. Uh, for the crease, again, because we're trying to create sort of a more daytime inspired look, I'm just going to take this by Elamasca. It's called Dizzy. It's just a baby pink color on a crease brush. This is Sephora's number 19, um, which I've actually been super impressed with. 
And so we're going to run that through the crease again just to sort of have a color to blend in that crease without darkening it up too, too much. Um, pink I've found to be like a really nice crease color that if for some reason you've gone too dark, if you bring in a lighter pink or even like if you have like a mustardy yellow color, it just helps brighten an accidental smoky eye, so to speak. Uh, donc en français, sur le pinceau numéro 19 de chez Sephora et la couleur Ila, uh, Dizzy de Ila Masca, on passe uh, dans le creux d'oeil uh, une couleur, cette couleur rose, uh, pour juste um, donner une, une uh, petite couche de couleur à l'œil. Oui, je crois que c'est ça. <rire> on veut l'arriver à la riche de Satache, numéro 2 Satache, de Sephora. Là, on prend le long Dizzy, de la masque de Zahir, on le met dans le cœur. On est, c'est le chef, mais là, il est bien, 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 yeah, we're just breezing through this today. I'm still not at my 100%, so we're just going to do some nice, easy, pretty eyes, and out the door we go. So, um, instead of using, like, a black or really smoky purple, I just picked this up. Um, this is my Inception, also by Elamasca, on a 239, and I'm going to use that to define my outer corner um, and make it sort of still in theme with the spirit without getting too, too dark and heavy. Donc, avec le 239 de chez MAC, je suis comme un annonceur à la télévision, euh, et la couleur Inception de chez Ilamasca, c'est pas seulement le nom d'un film extraordinaire, mais aussi d'un phare à papier. Euh, on va le mettre sur euh, le coin externe de l'œil. Euh, c'est plus subtil ou plus, je sais pas, clair. Um, Qu'un noir, mais ça va donner euh, assez de définition à l'œil, cette couleur. Ou bien là, là, mais, 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 نغمقها بلا ما كتير نغمقها ما بنحط إلا أسود أو شي مثل ما بحطه بالعادة مثلا نانسي وهيفا وهالقضايا بس بدنا شوي نضلها مع التام فلح نزد لها هاللون سامعين شتي برا؟ نعم Okay, so um, I still think we don't want to go too dark and smoky but I do want to add a little shimmer so I'm going to take Gold Deposit which is a mineralized skin finish um, from MAC and just sort of dab that on my eye to add a little bit of sparkle, just something, a little oomph. Uh, donc, avec le mineralized skin finish qui s'appelle Gold Deposit de chez MAC, on le tapote avec notre doigt sur l'œil, juste pour donner un petit coup de lumière à l'œil. Ou l'arabe, parfois on ramme, mais on va mettre un petit lama. Hello, lama, à l'œil. Ça va être le mineralized skin finish, il va être mis sur l'œil, mais il va être mis sur l'œil. اسمه uh, gold deposit على اصبعي بس لحيك زيد شوية شوية لمع على العين Okay, so usually with sort of Arab inspired eyes there's a lot of intense black liner To lighten that up, I'm gonna take actually a flesh colored pencil So this is Naked Lip Liner from MAC but it works well on my waterline, we've talked about this before So I'm just gonna um, run that through my waterline to again give a nice daytime feel to this eye look. Donc on essaie de traduire sans mettre le crayon dans l'œil. Uh, donc on prend ce, uh, ce, ce crayon naked qui est um, un crayon à lèvres, mais ça ne me gêne pas dans, pour moi. À chacun son truc, donc essayez. Si ça ne vous dérange pas, utilisez-le. Sinon, uh, Rimmel en fait des crayons comme ça. Il y a plein de crayons. Mais on va le mettre dans l'œil. Uh, pour juste ouvrir l'œil. Et donner un genre um, daytime ou journée à ce look. Avec les looks arabes, très souvent, uh, on, on passe beaucoup de liner um, noir. Mais... Car ce, ce look qu'on crée aujourd'hui va être une, un look de journée. J'ai opté pour, pour cette couleur. 
هو بلا عربي رح نوصل اليوم آه بعدين ما نستعمل اسود وكثير نغمي العين رح اخذ هذا النيكد يلي هو قلم للشفاف بس بنستعمل بالعين او اذا عندكم اي لون اي قلم بهاللون بس مرقوب قلب العين هيك بنفتح العين ونخلي اللوك يكون لوك لنهار We are going to take um, a darker color. So I'm going to take a brown. This is Lionfish by Stila. It's a smudge proof stay all day pencil. I love these pencils. I'm going to run it um, because we're not going to add false lashes. I'm going to run it in the inner third of my eye. Um, I'm going to try to do this on camera. I don't know if I've done this on camera before because it's a little tricky. But it helps sort of give your lashes some added volume. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to talk. I'm going to show you what I mean. Hold on. Okay, don't, um, yeah, that's what we did just to sort of give your uh, lashes a little more volume. Donc, je ne peux pas parler faire ce geste en même temps. Donc, ce que j'ai pris, j'ai pris un crayon brun. Celui-là est Lionfish de ce style-là. Et j'ai passé uh, dans la muqueuse. On peut dire la muqueuse pour celle en haut ou c'est seulement celle en bas? Je crois qu'on peut dire pour ça. On utilise le même mot pour celle en haut. Mais uh, on la passe dans le coin externe pour donner euh, au cil un, un effet fossile ou un effet plus de volume. Ou bel arabe, on a fait un long le bine, on a fait un peu de temps, 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 on a And then finally, before I put mascara, I'm just going to line sort of my upper lash line. I'm not going to be able to do it on camera. So I'm going to line my upper lash line. I'm going to throw on some mascara and I'll be back. And that should basically be it. And so it's the finished look. Just added some mascara and we were off to the races. Not too bad, right? Um, and I still think, I think it's beautiful um, and nice and quick and simple. And it looks like you put a lot of work into it. I mean, yeah, it doesn't look like you spent four hours Kim Kardashian contouring. But I like these looks that sort of are sparkly and fun and still wearable. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you recreate it. Um, let's do some points of positivity. And I'm probably not actually gonna go anywhere cause it started raining like crazy outside. So, you know, why not have some fun makeup to rock around the house and do some laundry in? Um, three points of positivity, let's get to it. So my first point of positivity has definitely got to be, I've been getting to go makeup shopping for a friend of mine. She knows who she is and don't you dare call me a tease again. Um, but yeah, I've been having really a lot of fun doing that. Makeup shopping for yourself is fun, but when you get to pick out nice things for someone else that you know is gonna bring them joy, it's just even more special. So that's really been bringing me a lot of joy. Um, hand in hand with that, Let's not pretend I don't still make up shop for myself. I do. I actually picked up, so the Adult Swim collection from NARS launched in the US like a really long time ago, but it just got here. So I picked up this eye paint. It's called Balbuk, and all my Lebanese girls out there are going to know what that refers to, but it's just a really pretty um, sort of goldy, blackened color. Um, I've been loving playing with it. it it's Balbuk is a... <laughs> Um, an area in Lebanon and it has a lot of old Roman ruins um, and the color itself reminds me of like sort of the sand out there, the ruins, um, some food that I eat when I'm in that area. Um, so it's just, it's been making me really happy. I've been playing around with it. I'll probably sort of do, I haven't done really like a dark smoky look yet. Um, so I'm thinking that I might sort of play around with that new eye paint and, and create a new look for it in the next coming weeks. But that's just been bringing me a lot of joy. There's no lipstick. Okay. This is not a matte lipstick, as you can tell, so I'm worried it's getting all over my lips. If you're ever curious what's on my face, everything's always listed down below. So just, yeah, it's down there. And then my third point of positivity is um, my book recommendations part two went up a couple days ago. I'll link it down below if you haven't seen it and you want to check it out. But as a result of doing some research for that video, I got to spend a lot more time in the library just sort of hanging out and... I love my public library and it's just such a sort of calm and, and happy place for me. So I got to do that this week, which brought me a lot of joy. But yeah, that's those are my points of positivity. Um, let me know what's making you smile down below. I always uh, want to share in that sunshine and joy with you guys. Thanking you as always for being here. Thanking you for requesting videos. It's always fun to make these specially for someone and, and know that it's things that you guys want to see. Um, and yeah. 
just sending you tons of love, hoping you're doing great today, and I'm going to leave you, as always, by reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys!